Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the hip joint. It is an important joint. It can be. Uh, it is repeatedly asked in the exam for five or ten marks. Hip joint. It is a ball and socket variety of sinusoidal joint. Now we will discuss regarding articular surfaces. In this diagram, head of the femur articulates with the acetabulum. Head of the femur is covered by hyaline cartilage except the fovea capitis. Acetabulum has a lunate surface, acetabular fossa, and acetabular notch, which is bridged by transverse acetabular ligament. The lunate surface is covered with cartilage, though the articular surface on the head of the femur and on the acetabulum are reciprocally curved. They are not coextensive. The hip joint is unique in having high degree of stability as well as mobility. The, st uh, the stability or strength depends on upon following factor. First, the depth of the acetabulum and the narrowing of its mouth by acetabular labrum. Second, tension and strength of the ligaments. Third, the strength of the surrounding muscles. Fourth, length and obliquity of the neck of the femur. Last one, atmospheric pressure. A fairly wide range of mobility is possible because of the fact that it, that femur has a long neck, which is narrower than the equatorial diameter of the head. Now we will discuss regarding ligaments. Uh, there are seven ligaments. First, fibrous capsule, iliofemoral, pubofemoral. Issue femoral ligament of the head of the femur, acetabular labrum, and last one is transverse acetabular ligament. First, fibrous capsule. Fibrous capsule is attached on the hip bone to the acetabular labrum, including transverse acetabular ligament into bone above and behind the acetabulum on the femur to the intertrochanteric line in front and 1 cm medial to the intertrochanteric crest behind that we will see in this diagram. Fibrous capsule is attached to the acetabular labrum, acetabulum, transverse acetabular ligament, transverse acetabular ligament, intertrochanteric line in front and intertrochanteric crest behind. Anterior superiorly, the capsule is thick and firmly attached. This part is subjected to maximum tension in the standing position. Posterior inferiorly, the capsule is thin and loosely attached to bone. The capsule is made up of two types of fibers. The outer fibers are longitudinal and inner are circular called as zona orbicularis. The sinuoidal membrane lines the fibrous capsule, the intercapsular portion of the neck of the femur. Second, iliofemoral ligament. Its name suggests it will extend from the ilium to the femur. It is, uh, it resembles inverted Y shape, also termed as bigelow. It is one of the strongest ligaments in the body. It prevents the tongue from falling backwards in the standing position uh, posture it means it helps in the uh, standing position the ligament is triangular in shape it apex is attached to the lower half of the anterior inferior iliac spine and the base to the intertrochanteric line the upper oblique and lower vertical fibers form thick and strong band while the middle fibers are thin and weak In this diagram, we can see iliofemoral ligament okay, as well as pubofemoral ligament. Pubofemoral ligament supports the joint in ferro medially. Shape is triangular. Superiorly, it is attached to the iliopubic eminence, obturator crest, and obturator membrane. Inferiorly, it merges with the antero inferior part of the capsule and with the lower band of the iliofemoral ligament. Fourth, ischiofemoral ligament is comparatively weak. It covers the joint posteriorly. 
its fibers are twisted and extended from the ischium to the acetabulum the fibers of the ligament from the uh, from the zona orbicularis some of them are attached to the greater trochanter in this diagram we can see is uh, ischio femoral ligaments which is extended from ischium to the uh, femur here some fibers to the greater trochanter the ligament of the head of the femur round ligament or ligamentum teres it is asked in viva and uh, it is also termed as triangular ligament apex is attached to the fovea capitis and the base to the transverse ligament and the margins of the uh, acetabular notch it may be very thin or even absent it transmits the arteries to the head of the femur from the acetabular branches of the obturator and the medial circumflex femoral arteries here we can see the ligament of the head of the femur then uh, slightly orange color acetabular labrum yellow color acetabulum femoral head in uh, greenish and bluish ligament of head of the femur uh, triangular in shape attached to the fovea capitis to the acetabular labrum okay the acetabular labrum is a fibrocartilaginous ring attached to the margins of the acetabulum it narrows the mouth of the acetabulum this helps in the holding of the head holding the head of the femur in position here we have seen acetabular labrum the transverse ligament of the acetabulum is a part of the acetabular labrum which bridges the acetabular notch that we have seen the osteology of the hip bone the notch is thus converted into foramen which transmits the acetabular vessels and nerves to the joint now in this diagram we can see the uh, acetabular labrum is attached to the margin of the acetabulum and uh, there is a gap which is termed as acetabular notch which is bridged by transverse acetabular ligament and thus it is converted into uh, foramen okay now relations of the hip joint anterior relations relation you have to remember lateral fibers of the pectineus tendon of the iliosus straight head of the rectus femoris femoris femoral vein artery now relations this diagram shows the relation of the hip joint posterior relation tendon of obturator externus internus and gemelli superior inferior piriformis sciatic now gluteus maximus muscle superior relation reflected head of the rectus femoris inferior relation lateral fibers of the pectineus and obturator externus now blood supply the hip joint is supplied by the obturator artery to circumflex femoral artery and to gluteal arteries the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries form an art arterial circle around the capsular attachment on the neck of the femur retinacular artery arises from this circle and supply the intracapsular part of the neck and the greater part of the head of the femur small part of the head near the fovea capitis is supplied by the acetabular branches of the obturator and medial circumflex femoral arteries now now supply jo hip joint is supplied by the femoral nerve the anterior division of the obturator nerve accessory obturator nerve now to the quadratus femoris superior gluteal nerve movements in this first diagram we can see the flexion of the hip joint below it extension of the hip joint adduction abduction lateral rotation and medial rotation okay now applied aspect of the hip joint the region of the hip joint is commonly affected by the disease or injury disease congenital dislocation is more common in the hip joint than in than, than in any other joint of the body the head of the femur slips upward on the gluteal surface of the ilium because the upper margin of the acetabulum is developmentally deficient this causes the lurching gait and ten, uh, 
Trendelberg test is positive. This is the diagram of the Trendelberg uh, sign. Again, the, uh, A is normal and B is Trendelberg sign is positive. Parthis disease or pseudo coxalgia is a characterized by a destruction and flattening of the head of the femur with an increased joint space in X-ray picture. Coxavera is a condition in which the neck of the neck shaft angle is reduced from the normal angle about 150 degree in child and 127 degree in an adult. Osteoarthritis is a disease of old age characterized by growth growth of osteophytes osteoarthritis that we uh, uh, commonly see in uh, our general practice injuries dislocation of the hip may be posteriorly more common anteriorly less common or central rare this can be asked in viva uh, by showing the x-ray okay the sciatic nerve may be injured in the posterior dislocation Fracture of the neck of the femur may be uh, just you have to remember fracture of the neck of the femur. Damage to the retinacular artery causes a vascular necrosis of the head. Such damage is maximal in subcapital fractures and least in basal fractures. These fractures are common in all age between the age of 40 and 60 years. Femur neck fracture is usually produced by trivial injuries. Disease or injuries in the region of the hip may be produced by shortening of the lower limb. Uh, it means any injury to the hip bone, it causes the shortening of the lower limb and uh, length of the lower limb is measured by the anterior superior, superior iliac spine to the medial malleolus. Thank you.